Uh, I want to move on to the John Benet Ramsey one because uh, this has been a mystery for a long time with JBR. Yeah. Um, I, I had watched the uh, the latest documentary that was out on ABC um, that, that happened that everybody got sued for uh, because they speculated they that they, they accused Burke of brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yes. Um, do do in, in your knowledge? I'm not going to ask if you believe it. I don't want you hit with a lawsuit as well. Obviously. Um, well, no. Well, I'll tell you what I believe because it's in my book. Who killed John Benet Ramsey? Get the book. Um, <laughs> Written by 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 me, who killed John Benet Ramsey? Uh, this was not a murder. This was uh, well, technically it would be a manslaughter, whatever. Um, but it wasn't designed to be a murder. It was an accidental death uh, that occurred during sexual play by the father. There was no intruder, no intruder. When you see me next and I have hair down to my waistline, like some of the NFL football players do. That's when the intruder will be found. Um, <laughs> and, and John, this is a game. Patsy Ramsey, the mother, is out of the sex business. Stage four ovarian cancer. She followed surgery, radiation, chemotherapy. And the little girl was a surrogate. And the father, uh, penile penetration, not penile penetration, I mean non-penile penetration, finger penetration, digital penetration. It's all there in the uh, autopsy. Uh, chronic inflammation, focal erosion, uh, the vaginal vault, the seven o'clock position. Um, by refringent material, the com- most common source of which in any household is is <clears throat> talcum powder. Put it all together, and then you have this cockamamie note: "We represent a small foreign faction." Uh, yeah, uh, it was Ramsey, the weirdest note of all time. One hundred and eighteen thousand dollars. You like that number? Yeah, is exactly yeah. the bonus that John Ramsey received the year before. Yeah, for, for Christmas. Not a hundred, not two hundred. One hundred eighteen thousand dollars, and then. And by the way, he forgot to bring pen and paper, but no problem. In the middle of the night, he finds pen and paper. He starts to write it. He writes. He doesn't like the beginning. He crumbles the paper, throws it down, and then starts to write again. You like that? And then he leaves the house. And by the way, he knew about the room in the basement. The homicide detective is getting there at 6 o'clock in the morning. Never even knew that room existed. Yeah. Looking for the six-year-old girl, never even knew that room was there. A maid who worked there for six months never knew about that room. But this outside intruder who was able to get in without awakening anybody, he knew about that room where he took the little girl right. and he had his way and then he left. Well, uh, usually usually people who uh, do home invasion spend a lot of time down at the city clerk's office looking up the blueprints of all the houses in the area, right? Yeah. <laughs> or is that, not, is that not how it works? Like we expect these James or Ray, all these low-level knucklehead criminals uh, to, he figured to be, out that room. They're like criminal right. masterminds all yeah. of a sudden. It's yeah. easier to believe they're a criminal mastermind than it is to believe that the government was somehow involved. Now, speaking of. Oh, well, well, real quick, I, how did the murder then occur with John Benet Ramsey? Wasn't she hit with a blunt object in the back of the head? So the father did. Funny, she was hit, but that did not kill her. Um, she had, she had um, seven cc's of blood. You know, that's one teaspoon and a half, seven cc's. If somebody comes up right now, even with your hat on, sir, mm-hmm. and, and uh, or my bald head, and hits us with an object, you're going to have a lot more bleeding. You've got a subdural right. hemorrhage. You don't yeah. die right away. You don't die immediately. My my son's a neurosurgeon. They operate on these people uh, hours after the bleeding has occurred. That that bleeding was already in caused when she was dead or dying. There was no actual active bleeding. That was just oozing from a little bit of... Uh, gravitational flow from some small vessels. She was already dead. Um, Strangled? And she had she had her collar up. The rope was around the neck. Make sure that there are no marks on the neck. The collar, um, the rope came down. The sleeve was pulled down. Make sure that it never touched the skin. So there would be no indication of this. And then when you tie something around someone's neck, then you can inadvertently get a vagal reflex. The vagus nerve, the 10th, temp- I have 12 cranial nerves coming out from the brain. One on the right, one on the left, sends fibers into the chest, controls the heart, controls the lungs. When you apply pressure to the neck, that vagal reflex can lead to bradycardia, slowing down of the heart, and then you get cardiorespiratory arrest. That is what led to the death of John Benet Ramsey. As I say, a, a, a horribly, um, a horrible death, um, but by no means an intended murder. And I don't say this in any way uh, to to get John Ramsey off the hook, but to point out uh, exactly what happened. So that's John Benet Ramsey. Yes, and, and with that, because um, the mother is now deceased, 
yes. he's still alive. And then the brothers, you know, filed a million lawsuits against this. So, yeah. uh, if you're the brother, does he know what happened? And if so, why isn't he coming forward and saying anything? I, I, I don't think he, he knows what happened. Um, in fact, when he awakened and he came down, um, and, and John Ramsey was on the phone with a relative in California and you hear him saying to Burke, just go back to your room. John Ramsey, uh, Burke, 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 nine year old, three years older. Uh, he came down and he was trying to find out what happened. No, I don't think that Burke had anything to do with it. I, I, I do not believe so. I think Patsy obviously came to learn about it. And what was she going to do? She already lost her daughter. She's going to lose her husband. She's dying of cancer. She got a son. So uh, you, you know, go along with it. And uh, that's what I believe happened. And it's set forth in my book, Who Killed John Benet Ramsey? 